Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and looking at our map, we have a little tiny bit of pollution happening. We don't even know what's going on on this side and it's getting close to that base. So I think what we're going to do is a start automating bullets. Now, um, we have, do we have any guns yet? Oh dear, we don't even have an SMG, which is going to be priority. That is going to be the next item we're going to create. Let's go ahead and create some more, um, we need to make proper bullets here. We just need four iron plates for each, so let's go ahead and organize that to happen. And start building a few more structures for making the intermediate products that we need as well. Okay, so let's just send those over there. Let's go and grab the rest of the stuff. Nanobots have been acquired. All right, let's get guns. Yo, uh, SMG, very, very useful for taking out some biters. We're also going to need to get some turrets. Is that here? No. Where is it? Do we, have, we might even have turrets, actually. So let's start the research for military right now and get that on its way. Now, I would like to start automating uh, green circuits as well. I'm going to automate some things that will uh, sort of uh, enable us to handcraft a little bit better with some of the early items that we're going to need to kind of survive the whole place. So let's see what we can do here with... Uh, we need to make some more inserters. There we go and put down a couple of thingy-majingies. So we need two structures here. We need one for copper cable, and then we need one for green circuits. We can just go ahead and do a similar thing like this. And there we go. Actually, we can do it exactly the same as the one up top. That one there, and box there, and there we go. And green circuits. So let's get that working. Um, okay, that one is already powered. Great. So uh, green circuits all together need one and a half uh, copper plates per iron plate. So we don't have anywhere near. Oh, dear. That's a little bit too many. It's not what I intended to do. I intended to put one stack, but I clicked the wrong button. I pressed sh control instead of shift yeah not not a good plan in general okay let's uh fill these structures with coal yay and empty the coal machines as well and go ahead Oops, let's go and get these uh furnaces military is done boom uh we can also start getting some of these things physical projectile damage is recommended as a good starting one rather than shooting speed because shooting speed just you know releases your bullets faster <laughs> whereas um you know it doesn't actually give you more value per bullet and that's kind of what we're looking for here so let's go ahead and just give these machine stuff to do how are you doing only 235 left let's go ahead and just put these all in a line should have done this earlier i think do we have we don't have no but it's okay it will be fine all right grab all the copper from there and start feeding that green circuit machine Ooh, ooh, ooh. we have some stuff that we can use here and we also have some i think we'll keep the stone in our inventory that's just fine i do want to set up a couple of turrets uh, which we don't actually have. I need to find where those are in the tech tree. Here they are. They're under a research named turrets. Funny enough. Imagine that. Okay. Uh, we don't have to worry about changing research. Uh, the bullet damage one will, um, it will save its progress. It will not lose any of the science that we've already put into it, which is great. It is really great. So, all right. Two iron plates, two, one, uh, copper. I think we're okay for now. I just want to feed the green circuit machine better. So let's take, uh, yeah, this and put another one of those. And we have 19 green circuits. The, the, the yay is real here. Okay, turrets are finished. Um, yeah, let's go again for the physical projectile damage. This will add shotgun shell damage, gun turret damage, and bullet damage. And I believe that stacks twice on the turrets because you get the turret damage plus the bullet damage. So turrets are actually a really good way to, um, make sure that, um, 
you get the best bang for your buck, so to speak. Okay, we also need optics. You know what, before doing this one, optics are highly desired, especially since they're so cheap. I really wish I enabled Research Queue. Uh, optics, if you're not aware, they give us lights and lights are good. Lights are really good. Um, yeah, so let's just do halvesies on that one and iron plate, yay. And then again here. And so that that will give us a little bit of uh, of production there. I feel like I I, I should have gotten an extra copper uh, mine situation going on. But what we can do is set up a small smelting column since we are at the point where we can make uh, mining drills on mass. Uh, well, almost on mass, and um, at least somewhat with the gears that we're producing as well as the green circuits. Okay, optics are done. Let's finish getting. Yeah, the projectile damage. Yeah, we're finish, I say, as it's very barely started, but it will be fine. Oh, hello. Many furnaces being made. Actually, I think we can probably recycle two of these miners. We don't really need four to feed that. I think this is probably a better balance. And now we can make lights. Hooray. So let's make a few lights. Uh, we need circuits for those. Let's go ahead and grab these circuits. 35 are made. We're getting a lot of firearm magazines, which reminds me to make a gun. Hello, submachine gun. I want you. There we go. The pistol is kind of useless, like really useless. Usually we have a box, which we shoot later, and those are for storing pistols. <laughs> I'll just put it there, and pistol goes in. Anything that we don't need is going to go in there. Oh, look at that. We have some more burner miners, actually, that we can use. Uh, okay, so here we have kind of a basic production setup of the things we need. Do we need anything else? This is what I'm looking at right now. I would like to set up nanobots um, because that's going to save me a lot of clicks. And clicks are not good for RSI, which someone asked in, in the comments. It is repetitive stress injury. Basically too much using of computers and it's not ideal. I don't wish it on anyone because it hurts. Uh, okay, so nanobots, we're going to need at least three assembly machines to get those going. So let's start off with iron sticks here. And let's see. Iron sticks, need iron plates. Those go into nanobots, I think. Let's see. Yeah, and we need repair packs as well. So we'll have our, I don't have boxes. Oh, there it is. Silly me, I do have boxes on the tool belt. Imagine that. Okay, these go here uh, and we'll have this one going that way. Um, if you're new to the game, these guys can transfer up to three squares away. So a square space in between, but they can also transfer like this. They don't have to be three squares away, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's give this a couple of um, thingies filled with stuff. All right, and this now wants repair packs as well. So repair packs, um, probably can be like that maybe. I don't know. I do like the direct transfer of um, of stuff here. Okay, so this needs, wow, it needs gears and circuits. Well then, I think, man, I wish I had circuit conditions already because it would be nice. Um, uh, let's see. One thing that I do want to do is take this, move it there, and then we'll put our finished capsules here. We'll limit it to two for now. And we need to get gears. I'm wondering if I should just move this gear machine or just make a new gear machine. I think I should just make a new gear machine. We'll just put this one here and use this. The only thing that direct transfer does limit you on is the fact that uh, you cannot have any buffer really, but what's in here and see, this will only fill up to six circuits. Uh, it's basically, uh, I think it's supposed to be two crafts worth, but this is ending up being three and uh, that's okay. But it's not supposed to fill up. I see that a lot on the forums, this question of like, why doesn't it fill up with millions and millions of products? Um, people think that's a flaw, but it's actually very, very smart game design uh, on the, the behalf of the developers. Because if this filled up to like 
I don't know, 300 circuits, then there would be none in the chest. There would be none anywhere. So it's kind of bad. It would be very bad. Um, so anyway, it's a good, it's a good game design decision that way. All right, let's put this in there um, and we'll go and get some more copper. I really think that I'm, I, I really should set up some smelting, but I do need those darn turrets. Okay, we need copper for that. So let me set up another, because I do have a couple of burner miners here. And I kind of um, underestimated how much copper we were going to need. So it's good to have it. Very good. All right, we'll walk back up to our main iron smelting area and grab coal anytime we're up here just to have a little bit of leeway. It's quite nice. And we'll just start filling these up with full stacks. There we go. And now we're we're really cooking here. It feels very, I don't know, limiting in the very beginning. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to run out of coal. I don't have enough. But you do have enough. You really do. So, okay, let's keep making these guys. Uh, oh, wait, not that many. Hold on. I want to make turrets. I want to make a bunch of turrets, like mini turrets. Uh, we do have the bullets. We have, we have 19 bullets. <clears throat> Sorry. Apparently I didn't put enough plates in here because I really want more than 19. I want a lot more than 19, in fact. All right, let's get these gears. Those are crafting materials for us. And then we can go back to our nice little stand here. And we can start getting things going um, in terms of a bus. But I do want to protect this area first. That's kind of kind of important, I think. So we'll put the turrets down there. And then we'll have, maybe actually we'll have our bullets there as well. So let's shove that right there. And we will soon get bullets. It's going to fill up my rifle magazine thing first. But soon, soon. We'll get it. I'm wondering if I should make mm, a second assembler for bullets as well. Because it seems like it might be a good idea until I end up killing up, killing off a lot of these bases. I need to explore to the east as well. You know what? Maybe let's go. Let's go on an exploratory <laughs> vision hunt of hello east. Where are you? Wait, why is this? Why are these not getting coal? Hello? Oh, it ran out. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That was unexpected. I don't think that's ever happened to me before, but that's, uh, that's okay. It happens. Okay. Not quite sure how many we had, but was several. Okay. There we go. That will work. Um, yeah, let's take our power pulse through this area. And, um, you know, as soon as I made the lights, I completely forgot to put them down. Yeah, it's it's wiser if I actually put them down so you can see things. That's, that's kind of nice to see stuff. There we go. Much better. Yay. And these guys have their own gentle glow. Let's see about more power poles and pick up maybe some copper as we go down there. Because I want to have... Oh, no. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. It's like, no, I object to being placed on a cliff. That is totally not cool. All right, actually, we can take this down because we're going to need electric miners to power um, the new mining stuff once we get that set up. There we go. And power poles incoming. Okay. Let's see. Where do we want to go with this? I want to take the radar ish here. You see the um, the the light colored square. That is the extent of the radar. So we need to kind of move ish there. So let's take our power poles that way. Now the way to get the power poles to go at max distance is if you if you have the whole you're holding a power pole in your hand, and then you click down on a current power pole that's already there, it will automatically space them to where and you just kind of hold down as you're running. Okay. It's going to be slightly sloppy. It's fine. There are, oh god, there are cliffs everywhere. Um, 
All right, let's see the radar. Oh gosh, I don't have one. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Let's take off some of these things and then we'll put them back on. <laughs> Silly me forgot a radar. I love this uh, QOL thing though. This is the devs did this one, one update. This is so good. You can see on the mini map where the coverage area is. So I'm going to put a ghost image there. That's called, uh, you can do that by shift clicking. Um, or if you have nothing in your inventory, uh, it will place a ghost if you have that option enabled in the options menu. But here we go. And then just uh, another thing that you can do, you see me switching back and forth. If you if you pick up something with, with your hotbar, like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, uh, that's on the hotkeys. I always press Q to just clear my hands. Q is so good. Q is wonderful. I use Q for everything. In fact, I use Q in every game now to do kind of a clearing thing if I can. All right, I think we need to take out that biter nest. Uh, let's go see if we can get, we have some turrets made, uh, if we can get some more bullets or what are they called? They're called magazines, I think. Firearm magazines we need. Yes, we need the magazines. Let's grab the um, iron. Now this is very temporary so far. All of this is going to go away and be changed into other things later. But um, yeah, this uh, is very slow. Wow, only 53, no. Okay, we need to fix this. This is not okay. This is really slow. Let's just move this down and have a couple of machines instead. One, two, three, there we go. And we'll change this into this. And I think we're gonna have to just have a bus started very shortly for this stuff. Okay, so we just want to start this with half. So I'm control right clicking to put half of the iron in there. And we just need a power pole. Boom. Life is now better. So this is just going to make as much as we have. Oh my God, we have it. Hello, nanobots. Hello. All right, we have now acquired nanobots. This is a good thing because that means that we can... Um, we can place things with blueprints and we don't need to worry about this. Now, please, I, I get a lot of commentary about this kind of thing. If you don't want to play with nanobots, don't play with nanobots. But like I said, I have RSI and clicking is damaging, like physically damaging to my health. So I have to kind of reduce that as much as possible. I hope you understand. Um, okay, so here we have, we can go electronics, which leads to everything. Uh, we have walls. Oh, walls would be great. Let's get walls because walls kind of prevent biters from eating us. Now then, I wonder if I should... You know what? I think I'm going to take power poles up here and put down a radar. But I think I would like to... Um, we have enough bullets, I think, maybe, to take out this base. Oh my god, the trees. No! I didn't anticipate the trees. They're hiding in the trees, I bet. They're... They're there. Holy fuzzy cats, there are worms up there. Ay. Um. Okay, it will be fine. It will be fine. Let's just go to the side. Be careful, careful, careful. All right, let's see if they are okay here. Now then, I'm going to put a turret down. Because, uh, yeah. Now, turrets do not need electricity, just uh, so that you're aware. There we go. Wow. Oh boy. Okay. I really need to place one there. So I'm going to put a, a little... Th oh my god. <gasps> you can hear them screaming. Oh my god. They're really terrifying. Wait, is it, do I have alt on? There we go. Alt is now on. <gasps> no! No, 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 Don't, Don't eat me! No! Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Let's walk, let's walk. While we, while we put stuff into our turret. Hey, ow, ow. Oh dear, 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 fish, fish, fish. No, 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 I didn't put fish on the hot bar. This is very bad. Okay, fish, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I didn't die yet. This is good. No, but my turret got killed. Oh dear. Okay, so this is slightly dangerous, just slightly. Um, they're quite angry with me. Uh, very, very angry. Um, 
I think I need more stuff. Let's take our turret and go back home. That was a little bit less fun than I wanted it to be. <laughs> walls. Hey, Walls. How you doing? Uh, weapon shooting speed might be good. Nanobot speed. Logistic science pack. Let's get that. That sounds nice to you. So that's going to be green science. We might have some issues here. We need definitely probably armor piercing ammo. Uh, and for that, I think we need green science for this. Okay, so our first run-in with the biters was not 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 ideal, for sure. That was scary. Uh, we almost got killed. I need more fish. That, that's one thing we learned. We need more fish. Oh dear, what's going on with this? Oh, they're just not producing fast enough. Okay. So, <laughs> it's like, how's it going? It's going terrible. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. All right. It will be fine though. We'll we'll get past this. We'll get past the biters. They won't they won't eat us for breakfast. No no no. We're not that tasty. Um, unless there's like sauce. But I I'm not sharing the recipe for sauce. Forget it. Nope. Um, yeah. Let's get our furnaces. I keep collecting those because this only produces a stack of fifty. I think. So it's good to kind of just like collect over time and get stuff going. However. Um, we do have the pollution, so it's wise to, I think, set up a few turrets to protect the areas that have stuff here. Okay, so I'm taking half and then half, half. Okay, so that will give us uh, a little bit. 12, 12 magazines should be enough for now until we get, I think we need that armor piercing ammo. That is like really critical to us at the moment. Okay, so here, let's carefully place turrets so that they cover the area here. This is good, and maybe here. Maybe here. Okay, so let's just... Just get it down to a reasonable amount of ammo, because we can't spend all of our ammo in one place. That would be extremely inconvenient. So this is... These are just processing very, very slowly. Okay, that's just fine. Let's get our... I want to place these also so that they cover other turrets. Because you saw even small biters were getting a little bit... Um, I don't know. They were hard to kill. Like, really hard to kill. Okay. Okay, this one has 10, this one has 20. Let's get rid of that. This one has, okay, that's fine. We also should get some repair packs, maybe. I, oh. <laughs> we don't have a stock of repair packs, alas. But that's okay, we can make some, it's quite easy. Uh, we'll put these for here for now and then just repair the different uh, thingies as we can. Good, good. All right, so. I think it's time we need to actually start automating stuff. That's going to cause the biters to really not be happy with us. But we have the base defended. So I think it's time to actually start getting going on that and start building a smelting column. So let's think about this. Where do we want to have our smelting column? I was thinking about like using this area as this very kind of ensconced sort of cloistered area of safety where we could build walls until we're strong enough to kind of uh, move out and kill stuff and um, look at the cliffs they're re they're almost like in a perfect ring it's such a nice map for this so let's see let's think about where do we want our smelters probably here thinking maybe bring them down here and then have maybe have a bus going around I don't know I've never been made a sort of circular bus that sounds actually quite festive <laughs> maybe we'll have to do that uh, okay so let's get um, our furnace column Let's see. We want to have 24 furnaces, I think. So we want our thingy to start here, maybe. We'll have a central column as well. Oh, do I have a belt maker? I think I... Did I set one up? Yes, I did. Great. Hey, past KOS thinking about future KOS. Thank you. Past KOS. Oh, yes. All right, we got stuff there. We need... Oh, wow, all the circuits are being eaten because we have no um, checks on this system. Alas, nope, no checks on this system. Um, okay, so let's just put those in there and 
We can get belts though. We have 300. Oh wow. 660 belts. See? Past KOS. There you go. Great person that past KOS. Thinks about us all the time. Okay. And we'll get the gears. And that's fine. I think that's good. Actually, you know what? I might. Should I limit this? Nah, I'll just limit it by the input, I think. We'll be lazy on that one. But so far, we haven't actually triggered any biter attacks, which is kind of good. Okay. We need to have a belt of coal coming into this arrangement, which usually I have here-ish. Like this. And then it comes in through this way. Let's see if that's the right. I'm just looking at spacing right now. Okay, here is this thing. We can do that. And then we need to have our mini, mini, mini thingies. Let me just check the numbers. I always forget the numbers on this. Let's see, early game. We have stuff. We won't use the blueprint, but I just want to see how many there are. Okay, it's 48, so we need 24 in a line. And the reason I'm using 24 in a line is because of, let's see, how many is this? Let's count. It's because, um, 10, uh, there are very specific ratios about how much material a belt can move uh, versus how much um, you the machines process and all this and to keep the lines perfectly moving so that's that's what I'm looking at at the moment okay so here we need to have the center belt coming down yes there we go and then we'll have these guys again okay so that's 24 but we need to just copy this the copy tools and have more there we go so that's going to be our our first smelting column to give us a full belt of iron and um i love the copy and paste tools they're quite handy there we go and the blueprints somebody asked me this the other day actually on uh, comments they said you know what what what's the or no it was on it was on steam i think they're like you know are the blueprints useful uh, if you don't have bots and they are useful, um, but you, you just can't get them automatically placed down. You know what? I'm not even using my nanobots. Why am I not using my nanobots? I don't know. That's silly, but we need to have this going like that. We do need to have some splitters. I don't know why I haven't made any yet. There we go. Let's just get these made and have those going. And I'm going to switch to nanobots. So, whoa, right. Okay, we have <laughs> we have an error apparently. I need to check that out before I start using nanobots apparently. It is not a happy thing. Okay, so we'll just quickly do these things then manually. We'll have our uh, inserters, which of course I don't have enough of. Let's go this way and get some more. Probably going to need some more uh, copper and stuff to get those green circuits going. Yeah, we have we're run out of copper. Okay, logistics science packs are done. Great steel. That sounds great because we can then get the... Um, wait, are these? Really? Wow, already out of copper. Jeez. These, this default setting is not, not, not great. <laughs> not great at all. Um, anyway, uh, I was, I forgot what I was saying. Completely forgot what I was saying. But yeah, we need copper to make inserters, which we need masses of, masses and masses of. Okay, so we can actually center this a little bit better. Actually, it's okay where it is. It's not, it's not, it is actually centered. So that's fine. There we go. This needs to be like this. Okay, and I'm going to explain this thing as we do this. So I'm using a sort of a speed run tactic with the uh, placement of these inserters. You just kind of go in a C shape or whatever shape, C or O or whatever you want to call it. And you can, you can do things very quickly if you're looking to 
do the speed uh, achievements, this is a good way of placing inserters. Of course, you can get a lot of practice and do them much faster than I'm doing. Just showing the general technique. It's been a long time since I've placed inserters this way. Um, as you can imagine, as I get to the end of a series, like I don't place anything anymore. I just have bots do it. It's uh, So when you start a new game in Factorio, there's always this kind of like adjustment back to um, manual building. So yeah, it is a thing, but for now let's go ahead also and place down power poles so we can just click and drag and it will automatically place them where we have consumers of power so there we go with this there we go and then we'll just finish placing these guys here basically we're going to take material from the far belt and put it through the furnaces and then finish on the inner belt and that's where our products are going to come in on there we go and then these power poles cover both sets of inserters so we're just going to go to the end side here and let's just place the first few down so that they're kind of in an alignment they don't have to be aligned but i know a lot of people like to see squares on their screens so that's how to do it if you like squares okay and then this structure is a very funny one this is great actually so this needs to go like that this can go like like that there we go four four and four and then we'll have our second um array for this over here now then um this particular structure is quite fun uh, i guess i should bring over some of the materials first so you can see how this works but i think this might well no i guess we should do it now we have like very little time but it is kind of useful so let's just take them Let's get our belts going down this way there we go we'll have the coal belt coming in that way and then the iron this way take this down there okay and there we go with this and then we'll get our we'll get some coal going oh wait no they're on the wrong sides Ah, it doesn't matter. We can use an underground E. And it is of no consequence. So we're going to get um, coal mines here. I think we're just going to do this for now. You don't actually need very many coal mines to do this whole thing. There we go. And then these are going to be... Wow, we had something here. Something got shot. Because there's no ammo in here. That's a bit scary. Like, I have no idea what got killed. But something shot something here. That was a bit terrifying. Anyway. Okay. Um, let's get the Steel Axe. Team Steel Axe. Let's go. Awesome. Um, I'm going to take away some of these things. We're not going to build on the mixed deposit yet because what happens is when you place a miner down, if it's within an area where it can also be um, overlaying the coal tiles, you will get both products randomly on there. So we'll, we'll deal with the um, sorting in a later episode, I think. But for now, let's just... Take that. Yeah. Let's get these going again. Okay. And then put some bullets in here. There we go. And then get some more miners there. Okay. So we're. I'm just going to demonstrate this. And we'll finish up this mining field in the next um, thingy. In the next episode oh no 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 probably here this is better it's getting dark no okay i'm gonna leave this for now because i want to kind of start everything at the same time 
Let's put the power poles along here. Nice. And we're getting some stuff. Yay. Let's get these guys hooked up. Boom. Oopsies. Nope. No, and a boss. I have to talk. To, I have to see if I need. I need to update the mod. Anyway, um, oopsies. There we go. Took a screenshot just in case. Okay, so what this structure here does? It looks very scary. I know, but what it does is it uses the splitters to align themselves. Um, and it only will put it on one side of the belt. This is particularly visible in the new graphics that the devs did a little while back where it shows how stuff drops off onto the belt from the side. And you'll see the coal now coming down and around and this goes this way. And this is to go to the next array, but you see how it comes, everything goes on its own side of the belt and it never, never mixes. So normally you'd get, like if you had a, um, a splitter, you'd, you'd do this kind of thing. And you can see it would go on both sides of the belt. It wouldn't matter. Oopsie, I keep pressing tab accidentally. Um, oh, no, no, come on thing. There we go. Okay. Um, but when you put another splitter on the other side, it does something kind of magical where it limits it to okay you can only put on half the side of the belt so this was a really cool invention i think it was jd plays who came up with this i thought it was really great i remember when it came out a little while back and it was very very cool okay let's just hook this up real quick and okay nope not quite there we go all right so now we're gonna have automatic processing of steel not steel iron iron plates their iron plates are real this is great all right and we'll go ahead and improve our mining uh in the next episode to make sure that we have enough miners to feed this very large smelting column so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time <laughs>